one of the great a'imma of al-Islam. He said, I traveled with Abdullah ibn Mubarak. Abdullah ibn Mubarak, a great imam. He said, I traveled with him. When I traveled with him, I wanted to know, he said, this man, why Abdullah ibn Mubarak passed everybody? Why everyone loved him? Why was he seen as Imam Abdullah ibn Mubarak? He said, I, I wanted to investigate. So he said, we traveled. We traveled and we went to a different city. One day he said we were sitting. He said, when I saw him, his act of worship, his ibadat, his act, it was normal. It was like the rest of us. He said, I didn't see anything which I could say to myself, this is the thing. And why he is unique. This is the thing, why he sticks out. I couldn't see any of that from him. Until one day, he said, we were sitting around a fire. And as we were sitting there, the fire extinguished. The light of the fire extinguished. The light is not there anymore. And as soon as that darkness hits, Abdullah ibn Mubarak started to cry. He said, of course, we can't see because it's dark. He said, I only saw that when we found, we found light again, fire. I looked at his face. His eyes were watering. And he said, I realized this man has something private, alone, that he doesn't show in public. His affairs privately, that when he saw the darkness, it reminded him of the grave and he reminded him of that moment is when he's connected to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala.